everyone, Jim Wang here with another bargaining video cast. And today I wanted to talk about the LUN algorithm. LUN algorithm was created in the 1950s, mid 1950s, by Hans Peter LUN, and it's a checksum verification you know, equation that you can use to confirm any number of, of identification numbers. Most commonly, it's used in credit cards. And if you remember way back when I did the 50 fun facts about credit cards, the first credit card appeared in the 1950s with a uh, diner's club. Diner's club card was just a simple cardboard card that you would go to the various restaurants and be able to use it. And so from there, once you have your first credit card, you start entering into credit card fraud and verification mechanisms. And so the LUN algorithm is known as a modulus 10 checksum, meaning through an equation, when you sum up the numbers in some way, they are divisible evenly by 10. So how do you run this algorithm? It's, it's very simple. All you do is you take all the numbers, so you see all the numbers behind me. Uh, this one, as you'll see, it's not your typical 16-digit credit card number. It's, uh, what is it, nine digits. What you'll do is, the rightmost is what's known as a check digit. So first you ignore that for now, and then every other number multiply by two. So the five becomes a 10, the next one, a four becomes an eight, one becomes a two, four becomes another eight. Then what you do is you sum up all these numbers. So you have your six, 10, 16, 19, 27, 29, 31, 37, 45. 45 then plus the five is 50. 50 divided by 10 is five with the remainder of zero. That means you know, at least according to the LUN algorithm, and hopefully I'm saying the man's name right, LUN, you know that this number at least passes that first uh, perfunctory check. Of course, you can still have errors within this, beyond this. I mean, everyone knows this algorithm, so just because it passes the LUN algorithm doesn't mean that it's a valid credit card. It also has some flaws. Uh, it will be able to tell you if, say, the 5 and the 6 were mixed up, you'd be able to tell that this was an incorrect number. However, if the six and the three were flipped, there's no way to know since you sum everything up. So this is one of the most basic ways for you to check whether a credit card number is valid. And to be honest, if someone's trying to scam you, they're gonna know this and they're gonna get past it. Beyond this, there is also what's a modulus plus five algorithm, meaning when you sum it up, if it's divisible by five or 10 evenly, then, then it's valid and that will just simply open up the scope of numbers that you're able to use for the credit card hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you have any questions feel free to email me if you have any suggestions also let me know and have a great day thanks bye